Day two of town meeting featured much debate. Article 25, purchase of a ladder truck was first on the agenda. Ability based on their years of selfless service. I look around, I see Mr. Manning, excuse me, Mr. Sestari, Chief Lee, and I put uh, Chief Slammon in that category as well. He, uh, he and his uh, deputy Miller do their homework, and if they came up here and asked for 10 trucks, I'd say, okay, I believe it. I'm glad it's only one, Steve, but um, just I know the work that you put in, the diligence, and um, I support this because you're proposing it. Thank you. After some questions, the article passed by an overwhelming majority, 256 to 11. Article 27, Town Hall Basement Renovation, raised debate. It's for file storage, it's for a kitchen, it's for an office. That isn't what the article says. It just says under the direction of the town manager, and I will not vote for this, and I urge my fellow citizens not to vote for it as well. Thank you. The article would fail the two-third required majority with 175 voting for and 112 against. Article 26, 28, 29, and 30 all passed. Article 31 was the next big debate, mostly over the dog park at 66B Fruit Street. Um, is, there's a $250,000 grant that we had received before for another location, um, but, but we uh, did not move forward with that location. We picked a place that was uh, at, at uh, Fruit Street because it was a little further away from where residences are. Um, because people had concerns that, that, that were abutters. Uh, so th this location is uh, most likely going to be just as you enter the parking area for the fields, maybe a 50 or 100 or 70 or a couple hundred yards before that is about where the location would be. Um, again, from a funding perspective, $250,000 grant that we um, would not be able to access any portion of this $150,000 unless we got that grant. Despite a motion to separate the dog park from the article, all parts of the article would eventually pass. Article 32, car wash use, raised heavy debate. They ranged from traditional office buildings to research centers, hospitals, all the way down to asphalt plants and hazardous waste processing. We took in everything we could think of. Car washes finished near the bottom in job creation, high-skilled jobs, tax revenue, and uh, bringing other business or driving business to other in-town businesses. It was near the bottom of all 50. The article failed the two-third majority with 226 for and 117 against. After Article 33 passed unanimously, Article 34, self-storage facility, raised a whole lot of debate. Um, I'd also like to say we do have self-storage in town. I go to it regularly as a member of the Hopkinton Little League board. It's 750 feet away, right over there, across the street. We've been using it in Little League for years. There is plenty of self-storage around. As I made my rounds to the car washes, I also stopped at self-storage facilities. <laughs> All of them, every single one that I visited has space. Every single one. And most have signs that say first month free, which means they're desperate for customers. Article 34 failed the required two-third majority. After Article 35 passed by an overwhelming majority, Article 36, Osma District, was heavily debated. The goal of the article was to remove the age restriction on the units to comply with state regulations. Concerns about more students being added to the school system were raised. And I've sold many over 55 homes. And they are mainly for people who are downsizing, so who have come from a really nice house and want fewer bedrooms, but they want other rooms. So it may only have two bedrooms, but it's got a den and an office and a loft and a finished basement. And my experience has been that if you remove the limitation for children, they will absolutely become multi-generational homes. So you will be getting children in the school systems because it will be grandparents, parents, and children. And there may be just two bedrooms, but there are lots of other rooms that can be bedrooms. The article failed after it was determined that Article 37 may be a better solution for the Osma district and the town to comply with state regulations. I 
attended, attended the planning meetings on this and I uh, have heard all the good arguments here, but we need a solution. And we need one that's affordable for our schools, our uh, people who live in the town, for the people who are going to buy into this development, and for the people who need affordable housing. So once, I will just state, I urge you to vote no on 36 and yes on 37. Thank you. Article 37 keeps the age restriction in the Osma district in place while allowing the planning board to approve the creation of the required number of affordable housing units elsewhere in Hopkinton by the developer. The article passed unanimously. Article 38, which was essentially a language change, passed by an overwhelming majority to close out day two of the 2019 annual town meeting. 